<laughs> I feel like that's how the kind is, but like you yeah, gotta yeah. be. It just depends on like, okay, what you talking about? You know what I mean? Yeah. Who you talking? Like you know, like you say, oh, the kind them. You know what I mean? Then only me and you will know what yeah. this version of the kind yeah. is. You mm-hmm. know. So yeah, bro, but you like, can have like a food conversation, like, bro, I just saw the kind at the kind, <laughs> and you'll be like, "Yup, how they do it?" Yeah. Like, <laughs> What's up, everybody? This is Curtis Pooley here, bringing you your real talk Maui podcast. Thank you for joining us tonight. This is my cousin Bryson. What's up, everybody? And my brother Jonah. Yes. Sir. <laughs> how you guys doing, bro? Feeling good, bro. Feeling good. How about you? Feeling good, man. Happy to start this podcast, you know, yep. finally. I know a lot of people have been asking us a lot about it, but here it is. It's our first episode. But, um, yeah, what you guys been up to? What you guys? Uh, just working, you know, trying to survive and pay bills. And <laughs> <laughs> Normal adult stuff. Yeah, tax yeah. season just piled, so <laughs> got to pay taxes. <laughs> what you guys just start up on business now, so what, uh, what's yeah, that well, about uh, you rock in the hat, bro. So yeah. huh? <laughs> tell us a little bit about S&I. that, bro. SNI equipment rentals. We do all heavy machinery, construction equipment rentals, and killing it. Yeah, business is going good. Yeah, yeah. So hit him up if you need any equipment rentals, bro. And what you guys going like out of Ireland too? Is you stay in Maui? Eventually, yeah. We just stay in Maui right now. We yeah. get one laid on yard in Oahu, but it's really all it is right now. God's yeah. timing. God's timing. What about Lanai? You guys busy all Lanai? Nah, no way. The the only machines we had. The only island we had machines was like Maui, Molokai. We had for like like two machines go over there, but that's it. Yeah. And then Oahu. We get a couple on Oahu, which is good. Yeah. But that's exciting, though. Support local, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah exactly. You know what? Keep what on you been up to, bro? Me, working, bro. We say, um, still say hauling with like sunbelt and stuff, but say working out Lahaina, you know, helping with the ash and debris and all that stuff. Oh, after the fires and stuff. After the fires, yeah, bro. Freaking, you know, got the contract out there, so. Or, you know, we got hired out there. Oh, so you guys still hauling out all of the de- debris that was yeah that was left behind? And Pretty much, How are you bro. guys handling that out there? I mean, well, the way they're doing them right now, we just get the concrete and metals going to one area, and then all, like, the ash and debris and all, that, and all the dirt, whatever, they take them up to Oluwalu. And we got to wear a mask when, you, when you're working not out us, there. Though. Not us, because we're not directly in contact with them, man. Like, they're only loading us with them, so. But the guys are loading. The guys, the guys in the, the operators and the labels that are, they got to use the suits with the mask and, you know, the words. But out there, you still can kind of smell the, like, smell stuff. Like, like, yeah. Like, burn, burning yeah. smell. Yeah, or... yeah, sadly, yeah. So, like, oh, it's kind of like a reminder of, like... How I long mean, has it been? Yeah. What, August, August. Yeah? Trippy. And every day, you're reminded about You drive in, you pass all the water, you get into, behind, like, by the handle on the road. Cars in. Heavy. <laughs> Heavy. <laughs> yeah, when you get to that road... When you come off the bypass, you can't even turn left anymore. It's yeah, all blocked all off. Yeah, you can go, or like you go in Lahaina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we just was over there. That's right for for Kamaliola's football game. So it was mm. kind of heavy, bro, going out there, just right? seeing everything, man. I can only imagine when the fires was going on, the view from out there was. Cause yeah, nuts. Not one too. of our customers, um, he wanted to rent something, and then he was telling us when the fires happened, he was like they was evacuating. They left there, rent a car. Mm. Run up the bypass and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, wow. Because everybody was in survivor mode, brother. Yeah. You know what I mean? Where you guys was it? I was at home. That's why I went all of this. Because I was, uh, Brady had baby and I was, yeah, yeah. I was on leave. So where you guys was when this I was, was going on? I was, well, when it was going on, I was work. And then we was hanging out my uh, my wife's uh, grandma's aunt's house. Because my wife could family that lost their house and over there. So everybody was just, you know. Over there with them, you know what I mean? Just comfort, you know, what families do. Uh. I feel like when that was going on, <laughs> we were supposed to be hitting the gym. Uh. Anyway. <laughs> huh? Bro, yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, we were trying to hit the gym. Just no, the start, three or you guys was, straight. Bro, yeah, that, no, three days that was like, straight. That was the first time you guys had hit them on consecutive no, bro, three day. Three, that was our yeah. third day, right? The third yeah. day. And then I <laughs> had all this going. But, you know, me, I, I never know the severity of everything right now yeah. was going to happen. So I was like, oh, yeah, come back. I'm going to gym. She's like, you're going to gym right now? Like, my uncle and just this and that. I was like, bro, now you've been, like, Yeah, I remember that. Though, like, like, you know, I like, this is not. Gym, hey, what, yeah. what body parts were you guys working out that day when you guys did work out? Though? I mean, that's Stomach. Because, <laughs> bro, you guys better have killed it. Right? <laughs> <laughs> no, we had some good sessions in the gym. Like, we would walk out, like, we got to just cruise by the car. That'll yeah. like, we still dying. <laughs> <laughs> also, I was even going to say, 
other crews that we work with out there, they get like three or four guys that's from Lahaina working on the crew. Mm-hmm. Each of them, I mean, I'm pretty sure you talk to anybody, rather, whatever story they get is just crazy, bro. Like, Lahaina, like, yeah. how do you even fathom everything that just happened to you and your family? Yeah. You know what I mean? And like, everything just happened so fast, yeah. too. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. So that's always kind of nuts. Like, yeah. It was pretty cool, too, the Super Bowl and, you know, what is that called? Like, Oh, when they're in, um, acknowledged. Yeah, uh, what is, what is the word I'm looking for? Like, they're in... Acknowledge. Acknowledge, yeah. Acknowledge, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, like, if, if every... Like, if you never know about what happened to the people of Lahaina after yeah. the Super Bowl. Yeah. The nah, that was heavy, bro. bro. It's almost, I mean, I'm not... After that, it shed tear. Yeah. 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 Shed tear. No, bro. Yeah. Shed tear. Yeah. Yeah. Tear yeah. shit. That was heavy, bro. Yeah. Like, I was watching them. Like, cousin. You know what I mean? I wish we got the win, but... <laughs> bang bang nine so again. I can say a shed tear twice that <laughs> uh, nah, that was that was mean though man when oh, that, when that yeah. came on that was heavy man and for the yeah. whole entire world for being yeah. pretty much the I, whole entire freaking world watching America was watching guaranteed that. even like how they, they made the video was was cherry like they didn't hit they didn't hit everything that you're supposed to yeah hit, I don't know if out. the kind of, if that like gave it like another revamping because remember in kind of like all the news yeah, yeah, about kind of Maui and mm-hmm. the fires and whatever's happening you know money wise whatever kind of went die down a little bit yeah. I think that kind of like ramp them up like yeah. Yeah. hey cause you know we still need help out here you know yeah. what I mean I mean like golf that. caught on a one time had one um, one of the cart guys yeah he was, te- he was telling us about like what would happen and stuff and his brother or something after the fire was like yeah, we, we went, they left yeah pack all whatever they had and gone yeah, it's never, right, yeah, never gonna be right. You think, but like, oh, never, yeah, ever, not yeah. even looks like, even if they put up old, um, like where, like, say, bubble gums, if it was for put bubble gums back where bubble gums was, like, still wouldn't be that line, like, yeah. that yeah. front street, you know what I mean? Yeah, that that vibe, not yeah. gonna ever be that old because it always, I feel like every time we went there, it felt like an old town, yeah, like, even though it wasn't like super, like an super old, yeah, old yeah town, like an old story. But you ask brothers and sisters that lived out there their whole life because they're just. They, they like keep whatever they can yeah. like yeah. the same in Lahaina you that's know what's what I mean? cool about the people of Lahaina though like their but pride, they're tight like, and their pride is like yeah. Yeah, I feel their like, town yeah. is so high like, I feel like they're <laughs> the kahuku of Maui oh yeah, yeah. like literally <laughs> man. like with their sports and just with like their yeah uh, it's almost like they're like one island within an island you yeah. know what I mean it's just yeah, that's why uh, respect to shout out to West Side bro, for real kind the they people. hold it down on that side cause I met some cool brothers and sisters from out there you know even true being on this job like Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and, and there's one brother just telling me all historic kind of facts, like stuff that you know, one guy who lived this side his whole life never ever would have, you know, other than somebody bringing him up in school, or whatever, you know, like the real like facts about behind all, like, oh, this this used to be, you know, when whatever, you know, like that's the kind of cause, bro. You is solid, bro. Yeah. Keep I, that I, knowledge, I, bro. Keep the knowledge. Definitely. You know what I mean? It's crazy. What about you? What you been up to? I'm just, you know. Staying at home. I'm a stay-at-home mom right now, if you never know. <laughs> yeah, my cir- my circumstances allow me to be a yeah. stay-at-home mom. So, <laughs> you know, I'm thankful for that. Bro, I just had one new baby, so. Yeah. And my wife, you know, she gave one good job, so. Yeah, bro. Know. Hey, that's, hey, that's just how you and, you and your wife getting it done, bro, straight up. Yep. Yeah. Know. How about you? How's the family? Good, bro. Baby's still getting big. I know. You know yeah. freaking getting older, getting older. She can turn Is it true two. she can say my knee? Yeah. I love it. Yeah, I, I mean, not Presley, like, not like good, you. not like good, like yeah. relax, okay? like she says dad way clearer, yeah. but like, you know, she was like, oh no, <laughs> <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> nah, thank That's you guys it. for being on the podcast, though. Bro, yeah. Appreciate you guys, bro. Can't wait to see where this takes us, you know, where this brings I us. Didn't, <laughs> saw that. No. I just didn't smell the mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nah, this is exciting, though. Like, yeah, it's exciting, but, um. Yeah, like we were saying, like with, with things being so expensive nowadays, even before the fire even happened, you know, where you guys think like Hawaiians is headed, you know, like in the next 30 to 40 years, like like where are we going to be? Like, are we going to be more? Are we going to be less? Uh, where you guys see Hawaiians in the next 30 to 40? <clears throat> For me, I would like to see them still here, thriving, of course. striving. Of course. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I, I don't like them. I don't like any of us have to... Mm-hmm. Well, like the old saying, oh, you gotta find a better life away from home. Like, nah, bro. I mean, there's a way to make it here. You know what I mean? Just, you know, nobody found the perfect route yet. <laughs> and I, yeah. I hate that saying, the, oh, Maui always gonna be there. Hawaii yeah. always gonna be there. Like, if we keep leaving, like, <laughs> not gonna be here. Yeah. Yeah. But they keep 
having a reason for us to leave, I guess, right? Is that's what everybody's saying? Because, you know, everybody, but everybody's circumstance is different. You know, some people, like I was saying, was, you know, they get their house inherited to them or, like, you know, just because you guys live there, your mom didn't live there, and then you know, mom did pass away, and then you guys take over. You know what I mean? Like, stuff like that, right? I mean, even get people buying their houses, and, you know, that's fine. But yeah. I feel like, right, just put yourself in a not debt, but that's just somebody who. That's just, yeah. You know what I mean? I just mm-hmm. saying that's what just what happens, but yeah. everybody's you know, yeah, situation different. Yeah, it is. It is different. possible, but it's just hard. <laughs> it's just <laughs> hard, man. Right? Like, Cause no way. Bruh. Gotta get two jobs just for be like, all right. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> hey, man. Yep. Two man. jobs still eating cup of noodles. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Cup of noodles are great, bro. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Sign me in. They got me to college. Pizza pockets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. What about you? What you think? Nah, yeah. Shoot. 30 to 40 years, definitely going to go down the numbers, of course, just as it is as we speak. You know, the, the percentage is, I'm pretty sure, went down mm. within the last five to 10 years. So, um, of course, it's going to go down. Hopefully, it doesn't go down as much. But I think, actually, that might be a, a good thing, too, because I feel like with Hawaiians going to the mainland, <clears throat> I feel like uh, we can thrive over there, too, and then maybe get some knowledge or bring something back that we learn out there in the mainland mm. bring them back here you know and maybe we can use that to afford to live back here so. yeah well what are they doing yeah, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> like just just you know thrive in in the mainland game you know and then come back and show out of hawaiians how you did that you know because sometimes it is good to get out i feel like no get stuck over here stuck not saying that everybody should move away but i feel like everybody should at least experience moving away for sure because mm-hmm. it's definitely a different thing up there all of us over here moved uh we lived in the mainland and lived over here so we had both worlds but mm-hmm. it's definitely a different beast out there in the mainland like. yeah but i definitely think people learn or like you can learn a lot of lessons out there in the mainland living out there so i yeah. definitely think local families should definitely experience it um, but as far as moving out there, just because the struggle, like the main goal got to be definitely to come back. Cause at the end of the day, shoot, if we go to the grocery store and we can't recognize not one person out there, man, that's not <laughs> going to be you know, Maui. Yeah. 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 Uh, even bringing up the grocery store, do you, I mean, I know this is one of the things of why Hawaii is so expensive is cause you know, everything is imported, right? right? In, yeah. You know what I mean? So, we, I mean, I, I don't know exactly, no, no quote me on anything, but pretty sure there's some big reason why everything is prices is jacked up everything is you know sale here or on the barge or whatever right so even talking about that like wow just, i think one of the steps for take for keep hawaiians over here you know just even grow local you know what I'm saying? like right no planning farmers right now even one of my best friends but he's on farmer right now you know he bulbs his, yeah his farm his yeah. farm is pretty pretty you know good flourishing you know what i mean but just saying like you know oh, if you could buy from them or you know what I mean yeah, whatever yeah. I'm more, more local with that mm-hmm. but I don't know that's just what I'm thinking one of the steps that could help uh. oh, yeah, definitely <laughs> of course yeah now, yeah. I feel like we definitely gotta buy more local products or produce like for sure than just going to the grocery store and just buying stuff that is shipped in like for sure mm-hmm. I feel like we gotta support like the local stuff before we anything that's bought in um, just using those things bought in just use that as like kind of if stuff runs out over here that is local then you can buy the stuff that is coming in from the mainland so support local before we actually buying stuff shipped in for sure yeah i gotta support the locals Mm -hmm. to keep the locals here (laughs) (laughs) right but even so what i you talking about um when we was living in the mainland like well what is some of the things you when you what you experience because you lived the way I feel like you lived the way the longest, huh? Yeah, probably. Yeah, because yeah, mine was in short term. <laughs> it wasn't too long. How long you was up there? I think only like a year. Oh yeah, me yeah. too. About a year. Yeah, I was like yeah. almost nah, three years. Yeah, like three four years. Yeah, that's all. In Stockton, I think oh, it was yeah, long. Right. Oh yeah, that's right. That's big right. island too. This big island, mm-hmm. Stockton, yeah. then and Oahu. Yeah. Yeah, and then Oahu. Right. yeah, Stockton was pretty nuts. Yeah, I feel like out there, yeah, it was just crazy. So I kind of just stayed in the house a lot. Yeah. I feel like I played a lot of video games because so I could talk to people online and just to hear like local there's people talking pigeon man just on <laughs> online I would just go on the games not even play and just talk to like all all my friends just yeah. because and I knew but I, the funny thing is I wouldn't talk to my family though because I'd miss home so much that <clears throat> yeah. I wouldn't even be able to talk to my family I'd, I'd rather talk on the video games with my friends 
come home and then that's when I would, you know, talk to yeah, my family. Yeah. And yeah. When you guys was living up there, what's the one thing you missed the most? Up oh, cheap everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely no, living cheap. up there that you miss from here, from home. Oh, oh. miss home. Uh, nah, just, I would say when, when I came back, the, the thing I missed the most is just hearing local people like just com- yeah. converse man. Yeah. if you just go to the store and just hear that pigeon it's like ah, it's, uh, back, <laughs> back, in, back in action yeah. Yeah. Like, out oh, there yeah. and just uh, yeah of course the law spirit is, yeah. is strong yeah. out here like you're not gonna find that anywhere out there but yeah yeah just that feeling of being out in public safe you know the kids can go out wherever we can go wherever no any worry yeah yeah, that's, that, I just miss that kind. Out there, you just kind of have to be super protective. You know, I was super protective over my family and stuff. Never, like, go too much places. Stayed <clears> inside <throat> mostly, but... Yeah. Yeah, yeah Kamali Ola probably never vibe. even go outside and play like how he does now, yeah. Nah, yeah, no, for sure. Like, he wouldn't go outside and play with the kids yeah. next door or down the road out there, mm-hmm. for sure. Like, who knows what's going on out there. Yeah. But. No, this guy play outside, no shirt. Yeah. Like, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, local huh? boy. Oh, local <laughs> boy. Oh, <laughs> Easy, brother. Yeah, but then again, he did experience a lot of good things, which I'm happy that he did while he was in the mainland. Just different um, friends, like races, you know, yeah, that yeah. you don't see over here. And just, oh, yeah. Yeah, just experiencing a bunch of stuff that you're not gonna experience over here. And, yeah. But we was, a, we was fortunate to come back before he was middle school, so. And now we're home. I'm happy we're raising him <laughs> home, and he actually can talk a little bit pigeon now. A <laughs> little bit, yeah, little bit. Uh, a little bit better, yeah. <laughs> that but, boy, yeah, before when he came, just uh, talk regular. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. You, yeah. you're right. It just came a long regular. way for sure. Yeah. yeah, he definitely almost local boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, bro? What about your stretch? Cause how, how was? That was cool. Shoot, I was in school, so we was just yeah going practice and then party. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know, yeah. I had some of that stuff. Like, that's the first place I experienced like racism. Yeah, yeah. for real. Yeah, right. we went to we went to a gas station. We was going on. I think we was going to like Lake Tahoe or something in one of our friends' cars, mm-hmm. and then we were gonna go fill up gas. So we just, you know, you run in the gas station, grab like one snack, mm-hmm. and then the the worker started yelling at one of my one of our friends, and we was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so well, what 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 she was yelling. Just like, oh, he stole something. He stole oh, something. Oh, like that kind. And we was like, nah, easy. I was, like, I was, we was just buying him. Like, you yeah. were stealing nothing. So we asked him, like, did you steal something? <laughs> he was like, I didn't touch nothing. Like, but he was so calm. Like, yeah, like we were like, what the heck? Mm. Or oh, did some if one of your friends is from up there? Yeah, but um, he was so calm because, um, like, I guess it happens often. Wow. Like, and I was like, oh, that's kind of. Yeah, I, I, never, I never did see that over here. I, I never really did experience that either. Yeah, yeah but I mean, anything crazy though, out there, like. That happened to you when you was up Vegas. Vegas is pretty nuts. Too, yeah, it's it's nuts, but I don't it was I wasn't too crazy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, we would go parties and stuff. Nah, yeah, because only like college, locals, you're not though. really paying. <laughs> but college, you're not really paying attention to the danger. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm yeah, yeah, just yeah, yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But what what I, one thing I wish I did was stay up longer. Mm-hmm. Like I wish I never come back that early. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah. but. Cause you know, would it? But you asked my wife, like you know, oh, what would happen if I stayed up there? Like she, she said, like, you probably still would have been living you, up there. I mm-hmm. think you would have been like working for NASA, bro. bro would have been way smarter. Yeah. Came home. And you guys like, was thinking about it. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you now, dumb. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you guys just thinking about it at one time after you guys came back from college. Like, yeah, you guys were thinking about up. moving about because yeah, Olivia had like land or something out there. Nah, I mean, no, 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 no. no. Her, her grandma them have but not for you know what i mean this is yeah because if we can get a couple acres where you guys go yeah. <laughs> but where was colorado yeah but it's like literally like in the middle of like nowhere and would have to do a lot just to even put anything on there but i think guarantee one of her family members trying at least you know put something on there Vegas. Yeah. living up there had plenty of hawaii people oh yeah yeah not loaded like so the first semester we was there or semester i guess um we was there we would never really encounter too much locals because we was kind of like yeah we live like a 10 minute walk from the school but we was like away from where all the locals was that was. UNLV? no 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 um college of southern nevada oh. csm but um when we moved to rebel place it's like the off-campus dorms for um you know that's where we was like we're all the hawaiians <laughs> uh. like cause bro yeah this is where we need to be like mm-hmm. yeah and that's where i remember oh well hello yeah that's why they call it the ninth island <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Yeah, I saw this thing like 53% of native Hawaiians live in the mainland. What? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just so just Hawaii recent. is not even like the top five or something. I don't know. 
I think it was like Hawaii's not the top five. Oh, that's, I, I mean, you know, he's talking to a guy that I, I really don't look up anything, yeah. you know, but that's crazy. Bro. Yeah, it was pretty. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, that's Yeah, that's heavy. <laughs> but that makes sense, bro. The cost of living is tough. Yeah, it's too crazy. Man. But then again, like I said earlier, bro, like, it's, it's, it's kind of a good thing, too, with Hawaiians being spread out, you know, Diverse. spreading more Hawaiian stuff. All over the place. Around, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not only over here. Yeah. We get plenty. I mean, we, we still need help over here, I feel like, but it would be good to when the Hawaiians go. Because I feel like when we was in the mainland, when people did ask us about us, we, when we told them what happened, like, oh, we got overthrown, man. Yeah. We, we never cho- choose for being on yeah. a kind state. And then you're all like, wait, what? Yeah. And then I, when we, we explained, like like my friend, man, that I played football with in college, uh, John, I explained that to him, and he just tripped out. He's like, bah, that's so crazy that that <laughs> happened to you guys, man. And I was all like, bah, yeah, what? Well, they don't they don't teach you guys that in your guys' <laughs> history classes. So I man, skip over so, that yeah, stuff. So in Hawaiian bro. history. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy, man. Uh, you know. I remember when I was living mainland, um, on the speaker at the like one of our practices, um, Hail Mary by Tupac was playing, and somebody, one of our friends from Hawaii, was like, you know, singing along with the yeah. song, yeah. And then one, one guy goes up to us like, you guys know this song? <laughs> and we were like, oh, yeah, why? He was like, you guys listen to Tupac in Hawaii? Like, Whoa. what? <laughs> like, yeah. Another famous song. Oh, you guys don't live in, like, Grass, grass Shack? Yeah. Yeah, what the heck, it's like, bro? bro? I mean, you guys I know, know we're part of America right <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, it's crazy. Like, no, I, I got the Grass Shack one time. Yeah. and then I, I never got down. I, yeah, what bro. Did I, what did we get? I, hey, got, but I got Aztec too, though, because of my tattoo. She's like, oh my god, is that Aztec? I was like, oh my oh, god. Oh yeah, we get you? we get called Mexican. I feel like a lot yeah. too. She's like, Mexican. <laughs> I don't think Hispanic. I ever got mistaken for a Mexican. Yeah, yeah, I got. You, you know you how did? I know? It's because they just speak to me. Yeah, in Spanish. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what I just was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> like, I have no idea what you're saying. And then they get offended when you when you, <laughs> when you don't talk back to them. Right? Like, like, I'm how, not even Mexican. <laughs> yeah, like, how do you not know your language, dumbass? It's not my language. Yeah, they're looking at you like. Oh, Answer me. <laughs> like, like, who your your family yeah. should have done better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, but I got that a lot. Of yeah, I, I might yeah, have, they, I might have got to that, but not that I remember. They're the kind though. They love our accent, man. Apparently, we have an accent like, the, way oh, yeah, yeah. Kind, <laughs> the way the way that we I don't, talk yeah. Fijian, man. It's like, <laughs> so like, oh, we love your accent, like, accent, man. Yeah, yeah, that's like, how I talk. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, you talk Pigeon, yeah. <laughs> 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 accent is like when you're from New Zealand. Yeah, that's a cool accent. Yeah. We just, what is like some some words that we say over here that people would be like, "What, bro, what are you saying?" Because like, every single like, I, I, shoots is one. Shoots, shoots is shoots. one. The kind. The you kind. Know what I mean? The kind, of course. Yeah. Um, Even like some ones that sound like what you're saying, like so, like over there. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah. We were saying over yeah, there. Like, say it real quick. Yeah. You know, over there. Like, over there. Like even that, they kind of yeah. even comprehend. Like. I think that's a big one, the kind. Yeah. Or that side. I think that's oh, oh, not a side. You guys are going oh, not a side. side. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, Do you remember that? Our our house before the renovations? How we used to call the, oh, the yeah, other side. Yeah. Yeah. And it just meant like wherever you are. <laughs> yeah. The other side of where you are. You can grab the remote from the other side. Right? <laughs> but like it's funny because we would know like. Oh, yeah. okay, the other side. No, but <laughs> I, I feel like that's how the kind is. Bro. Like, you yeah, gotta yeah. Be, it just depends on like. Okay, what you talking about? You know what I mean? Yeah. What are you talking? Like, you know, like you say, oh, the kind them. You know what I mean? Then only me and you will know what yeah. this version of the kind yeah. is. You mm-hmm. know? So, yeah. Bro, but like, you can have like a food conversation. Like, bro, I just saw the kind at the kind. <laughs> and you'll be like, yup. How do you do it? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yeah, it's kind of. <laughs> yeah, Hawaii is special yeah, <laughs> in bro. plenty of different ways. <laughs> yeah. But no, just like when it, anywhere else, though, you know, you go mm-hmm. like Louisiana, but it's, yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of, they yeah. get their own. Get their slang. Yeah. It's yeah. more slang. That's what I, I feel guess like, so. Yeah. 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 It's a, a but slang. it's because of, you know, all the immigration that came to yeah. Hawaii, you know, this every single, like, five different languages all in one plantation camp. You know, you kind of just mm-hmm. end up meshing after a while. You know, you get half Hawaiian. Japanese, Cantonese, freaking Filipino, all mixed up. Mm-hmm. Portuguese, you know. Yeah. So yeah, kind of to add on that, like, what do you guys think? Like, is some pros. Well, we'll go pros first about living in the mainland. The biggest one I think is the price. Like, <laughs> the price is up there. Yeah, the price yeah. is yeah, way better. Groceries is ah, miss those times. Yeah. <laughs> when we was living, had one um, one store, Food Max was called. It's yeah. Kind of, it's kind of sketchy. Kind of gets. But right, like I like steak, yeah. yeah. Right, I could buy like one ribeye steak, like seven bucks. Like was probably 
rotten, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you in college, hey, bro. Eat, bro. The struggle is real. Yeah, college, college is bro. real. Gotta you, eat. You fry up anything in outfits. You know, you chop bro. that up and you put onion. Chop <laughs> steak and onion. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. You grill on steak like like one steak <laughs> and it's like oh god what you just got paid like, <laughs> cause bought that nah, yeah. my mother didn't wire yeah, me 20 yeah. bucks 20 bucks yeah, I got <laughs> two steaks yeah. Yeah, yeah I missed that man the food was yeah you know, yeah. Uh, yeah so cause it was cheaper. a little bit different for me cause I was still like you know my father then was helping pay the yeah, rent yeah, you know what I mean I never have something. to I never have to work you know mm-hmm. they call, they, where you was working when you was living there uh, I was just doing loss prevention, like yeah. security. Yeah. So yeah, I was yeah. in the bro, I was in some dangerous situation, man. Yeah. I never really looked at it until I we moved back here and I looked back. I was like, oh man. You just kind of in a shock. <laughs> shanked, <laughs> like, yeah. shanked. I could have got <laughs> bad. Like I was in and the, the jobs I was doing was just crazy, man. Yeah. I can't believe it. But I was f- having fun doing that. Yeah, yeah, some yeah. good brothers he's working with. Yeah, definitely. Oh, solid. But yeah, my getaway was definitely video games in the gym yeah. for sure. Bro, yeah, I, I would say mm-hmm. my my son was because you know my roommate was you know from Maui too, and then mm-hmm. when I met my wife up there, that made him a lot easier, mm-hmm. you know, just for have somebody. But like you said, the hardest times were when I had to Skype. Yeah, <laughs> when I had to Skype my mother. I hated and, that man. Cry, it was like just but, seeing everybody. Uh, but my mother, she she would you know at, at least once a once a day or you know what I mean every other day or something like that, you know, just for a talk story, right? But bro, that would make him like ten times mm-hmm. more worse. Bro, I'd hang up and just be like. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I remember just looking at my calendar and being like, ah, counting the days down like, I, until I go home. I think if I started working up there and I kind of started to build a life up there, yeah. I think it would have been okay. Yeah, your time would have been a little bit more yeah, occupied I, too, yeah. I was just, you know what I mean? Like, everybody has to pass that certain point mm-hmm. of, okay, bro, you're up here yeah. now. Mm-hmm. You know, like you cannot just always yeah. go Sink back. Sink or swim. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think I never passed that. Like, once I got to that <laughs> point, I was like, yeah. okay, I'm not going to come back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there was one stretch though that you guys never come home long time. Huh? Nah, yeah, we had to handle that, son. Yeah. <laughs> Which yeah, is like, why I'm staying home right now. Yeah. Stay at home, mom. <laughs> yeah. so you had to put in that work early. Huh? Yeah, there was one time I feel like I never see that. Like, yeah, right, long time. Right, like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> one of the funniest moments. So when he when he came back from my wedding, and like he never, yeah, he had kind of like he missed out on the holidays, right? And then he just like, nah, yeah. he's got to come back for uncle, and then yeah, Malachi and my wedding. <laughs> Comes back for my like to my wedding, <laughs> gets jagged the first fifteen minutes of the yeah. wedding. Bro. Doesn't remember the whole thing. Yeah, you know? man. <laughs> like, cause you fucking waited after holidays for come back. And that's when he came back all skinny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he yeah. just was working out. Yeah, yeah. gone. <laughs> yeah, if you never know, I used to be big and then yeah, I just lost a bunch of weight. Came yeah, back yeah. and I couldn't handle. Me alcohol. too. <laughs> <laughs> what made you do that? Like, go on that journey. Uh, just had like one. Like what does it one? call like an epiphany, man? Like yeah. one day, like just it was like I, I gotta change things, just for my family, my my kids. Hell so that at that time it was just my son Kamaliola. Yeah. So yeah, I just was all, I just was, I think it was just like one day I just thought like in my head, like bro, I gotta like get shit together, man. Like not just with like my job, but physically. Yeah. Like, I think I was at like my worst. I was like super heavy or stuff there when I was when I was living. When we first moved up yeah. there. Like, I'm trying to get that epiphany. <laughs> <laughs> Never have that thought yet, yeah. but yeah. hopefully soon. Hopefully you How just old awoken you? something. How old you was when <laughs> you hit that epiphany? Shoot, like, probably like 25. Right? Oh, so it's shoot, coming up. Two after years past. <laughs> <laughs> I rewind. Late bloomer. I'm a late bloomer. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah. I just right, at One day I just felt like man, I gotta just change them all. I gotta, yeah. Or I just gotta just do better like in yeah. everything. Like not, and it wasn't just working out. Working out yeah. was just like one, one thing that I did, but just in everything in life, I wanted to do. At that time, I was trying to be like a personal trainer. I was trying to like, I was trying to do so much. Yeah, which why, is why not go good back at to that. Time. Like, nah, I feel like over I here it's, it's kind of harder. Over here. Yeah. I was doing it a little bit, but then remember, COVID when hit. Cause, yeah, remember, COVID when hit, yeah. and yeah. that just messed up my whole entire. That thing. was the best three months I've ever been on. Like you know, yeah. working out, bro, because he would make me send pictures, like you know, of, of like. On the app that he made us yeah, use, yeah. so we have to like you know yeah. keep up, right? And then, we had Duke on that too, bro. Yeah, <laughs> best three months. Right when COVID hit, cousin, I even try. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I was trying to keep everybody in, bro. But everybody was just like, like man, nah. we can't do nothing. No, yeah, Gyms me, are closed. Me too, like, like, I used to work. We used to live in Makiki. He used to live in Mauna Lua, mm. and I used to work couple there. So every day on the way home, I'll stop over there. Yeah, yeah. We'd work out. That first day I work out with him, we do arms. <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> yeah, arms dead. I, the kind even I think I get gout in my, <laughs> in my elbow. Like, God, I think something wrong. Bro, I like, get gout in my elbow. The dumb thing, bro, I don't even have one trainer with me. I just was doing it when I still was. Yeah. I was going light on the weights too. Yeah. <laughs> now we didn't hit. We didn't hit. Came out hurting. Hard I, I, hit him, I hit the gym a couple times with Brian. Yeah, yeah, when I came, yeah, when he came yeah. back home, we tried at least. Huh? Yeah. Oh, well, so you tried fun. twice. <laughs> Bro, three nah, times yeah, a charm, bro. Three times a charm. We used to hit him hard, and then right after that, like, she got get home, like, eight, yeah. shower, sleep. That was every day, like, yeah. for a few months yeah. until COVID and hit. And then. I feel like that's one big thing about hitting the gym. Like, just with life in general. That just kind of anchors everything else. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know if you guys I mean, feel about that. <laughs> I no, hate the it gym. It just feels, I don't know. When don't you guys think. know about, if you guys think about when you guys was, was working out and yeah. like just how life was going at that time. Yeah. Like how your body, how you was feeling. Was it better or was it worse? Then? Uh, yeah, I, I, I think we felt a little bit better. Yeah. Oh yeah. But, you know. Wasn't as sleepy. Yeah. yeah. But and three even days like confidence, in, like kind of need a little bit more than that. Huh? <laughs> you kind of okay. need a little bit more than three days. Yeah. <laughs> so, that yeah. When you're really locked in yeah. and then you just, that's when you, yeah. I just feel like everything else just is easier in life. Like you go, like before I used to go to work and like, that shit is easy because after this, I'm about to go to the gym yeah. and really turn it <laughs> up. Like I'm really about to go to work when I go to the gym. Nah, so. plus you like, you know, your blood pump, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like naturally, like all the time, you yeah. know what I'm kind of like right now I'm, I'm stalled out because you know, yeah. I get some fucking blockage in my being joint. Nah, but that was the best times when we was all working to get, working out together. Like I just like that, that vibe, man. like when we all put it in work and then at the end, like, Yes, yeah. uh, so are you trying to tell us something? Yeah. <laughs> like, it, kind of going on about this working out. Thing. Trying to motivate, you know. Yeah. I just feel like it's a big thing, especially out here in Hawaii. But guys got to exercise, but straight up out here, but like a lot of people, with, Di- diabetes a lot of people is love real. dieting, but everybody real. can diet, man. But well, it's, uh, some guys is so stuck in their ways. Yes. But then you get the guys like you know who That's get me, that. Man. I'm get stuck that. in my way. I'll no, I'm not. You know, I'm not bringing you get down. stuck in a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like, bringing anybody down, though. I just try for motivate. You already yeah, know. Yeah. It's all positive <laughs> vibes, man. I want everybody to be better, man. Yeah. Day, so, so, yeah. so we're good. <laughs> yeah. So we're good then. <laughs> yeah. Nah, bro. But no, you're right though. Like the health. Even so, what is the? I know. Have you guys done a statistic on like health wise, like in Hawaii, like? I don't know diabetes must be on yeah trick. guaranteed we must yeah, be we at least to, top three we definitely gonna get <laughs> yeah. to that and we will yeah, talk to bro. some people that can give us more yeah. better information oh, yeah, for bro. sure on that that topic because I mean, diabetes is definitely we see it all in all of our families like over here so yeah yeah we see yeah, that yeah all of our families so. yeah we see diabetes them, yeah. is heavy yeah. like, heavy into that so we can definitely touch that topic but I feel like when we do, I like when expert being here just to just kind of, while we talk about it, we can ask that person. Yeah, of course, you know, of course, like, yeah. You know, because so. we're far from whatever expert is. <laughs> we're just normal guys. Just just average, roll with average, us, such an average dude. Average nine to five man. workers. <laughs> like, you know yeah. what I mean? We're just like anybody else, man. So we're just trying to relate to everybody else out there, man. We're not trying to be more than what we are, you know. We're, mm-hmm. we're just regular local guys, yeah, just man. Just talking story. From Maui. <laughs> Born and raised, man. So Right. Wait. Here's a question, though. Since we, you know, still talking story, you can probably edit this part out. <laughs> but um, what is, like, what is, like, just us three right here, like, what is the funniest moments, like, we ever experienced with each other that like, you can think of? Funniest moment. Yeah, like, someone that, like... Like, the three of us together? Or just, like, at least one of us. Like, the... <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. I don't know. I get planning. Bro, I know. I was, thinking of, I was thinking a couple, but I was like, oh, yeah. I like, I like, I like Salem, but I like like, see what you guys say first. That was kind of out of the blue. So I, I get know. one. I get one. I got to dig deep in the yeah. archives. You guys, you guys, you, you like me go first then? Yep. Yeah, yeah, go okay, first. Okay, okay. Go first. I get one. <laughs> okay. At church. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we stay at church. Get on uh, one. <laughs> Bro, come on. I'm not going to even say the name. Bro. I just, just get one, 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 one more cool Connie, I'm going to say. Yeah? That's, that's, gonna... that's already bad. Nah, that's <laughs> not bad, man. We get plenty more cool Connie. <laughs> you got to have been there, though, bro. It was hilarious. Because this, yeah. <laughs> you cannot say it anymore. Yeah, yeah, no, no, man. Yeah, no. The only one I could think of was when we were in party Saturday night. Then we had to go Iberano for church. We was there early. And then we got caught sleeping in the back. The back. Bro, all of, all of us, bro, like, My dad, huh? Bro, I'll cool head back on the pew like that. Bro, all of a sudden, your father come. <laughs> <laughs> Must have just echoed, bro, into the whole church. Uh, bro, slap back. you guys. Slap, bro, right on my head. That's all I felt. Was, in Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> 
Wait, we didn't even do that. <laughs> what, you guys, you guys can just sleep in public like that? Nah, like, kinda, I places. don't know what it was, bro. We was just hanging, bro. bro I think it was like one of those nights we went to Chase yeah. Bell's house and or even, we never come or even home. Yeah, I, had, I, can, I cannot sleep in public. A lot of these funny like moments that. is like at church. Yeah, <laughs> right. Why is it always at church? Bro, wait, you remember that time I got I got busted for the kind of busting the railings in the back of the bed? <laughs> <laughs> He was there, bro. No. Bro. Yeah, Brad was all talking. Yeah, there you go. We was talking story in the back of the church, right? With the railings right with that, the handicap uh, ramps there. So, bro, leaning on him. And I guess I was, you know, leaning on him too hard. But the whole thing fucking fall over. Down. Everything. Because us all just walk straight back into church like nothing happened. Like nothing happened. Okay, wait, wait, you got to explain the second part, bro, because... Oh, when, when that announced me, because <laughs> no, no. who had just me, you that was Papa Kau, so it was, yeah, it was Papa Kau was there, so bro, it was me, you, it was Kana, I'm Kana, Kana and Pono, I think, I think at Pono too. Bro, I remember that, right? You just went lean real quick, and that thing just didn't snap, <laughs> <laughs> and then I hear it. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Okay, wait, wait, wait. You gotta tell them what happened. The announcement, bro. No, no, no. Papa Call went on. I, yeah. I forget exactly what the announcement oh, was, but then. See, me too. I forget. But then he went on top of the stuff. He's all like, oh, yeah, by the way, um, whoever went, break the wear, or the railing in the back. Um, <laughs> just make sure you come up and tell us. Because <laughs> it could be like a hazard like to somebody if yeah. nobody knew that. Because, <laughs> bro, we bro, literally went bust that railing and we just didn't put them on the side and just straight move on. <laughs> Just move on with life. Move like, on with life. Yeah. Bro, hey, put the like head now down, looking bro. back on that, bro, the kupunas, man. That's, that would have been my bad on that. <laughs> my, <laughs> bad, my bad, bro. That's just, that was Kurt's fault. He did something to the rating. I don't know. I remember that so clearly, though, bro, that <laughs> happening, man. Yeah. Bro, yeah. What, what about you? I don't know. I cannot think of one. I don't the one he always used to tell me, bro, you remember when you used to take, like, grab ribs right in front of my face <laughs> while like, I was sleeping? sleeping? <laughs> and how old you was? Shoot, probably, like... Fit grade, fit grade. <laughs> bro, fit grade. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just crash. Don't and wake just up crash. Like, Raj. <laughs> wake up like, what the? <laughs> what, the <heck? laughs> what was that at? At our house? Yeah. <laughs> or which room, though? I forget. The, um, the computer room when we used to sleep in there. Mm. Bro, yeah. All I know is our house, bro, is kind of legendary, I guess. Yeah, our house has some memories, yeah. Yeah, because I feel like just from where it was when it, when we first moved there, it was yeah. freaking all boss. Like, But people still would always come over, oh, yeah, I feel like, bro. Everybody would sleep over. A lot of my friends would still come over. Bro, and our house was freaking boss, bro. <laughs> like, bro, you got to... I wish we had more pictures about, like, how, yeah. how it looked, bro. It was freaking Did boss. you guys take any, though, like, before and afters? Like just nah, my mom didn't get choked. Oh, not not at the house, but my mom didn't get choked pictures of yeah. us in, in the house. You guys in the house yeah. Yeah. But then shoot, like we was okay with living in it, yeah, but just course. because of the vibe, like everybody still loved yeah. coming over and yeah, sleeping yeah. over, and like, bad. We had some good parties up there. Bro, what was that video game we always played? When they had the huge guy fighting force, fighting force. Yeah, yeah. we do all our levels. That's yeah. one thing, but I feel like that bought everybody to our house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. the mole was always in the back, yeah. like just <laughs> holding it down, like the newest and the, the latest and guys, newest video when games. You guys had the four screen set up with yeah. the four. Bro. See, that came after. Bro. Yeah, that's that was, like, I'm just saying, way. though. Bro, but then, when, yeah, when that came, yeah. Cause when that but happened, those are the days when we had the TV that we used to have to slap them. Remember, remember those? <laughs> yeah. Bro, yeah, we'd be middle of the game and yeah. or even before before we had the four set up. I remember we had like just the TV on the ground, on the yeah. ground and like had like one makeshift yeah. freaking stuff on the TV. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, I remember the TV on the ground because that's the one we used to play yeah. on this yeah. all the time. Like, bah, yeah. Nah, yeah, that's one thing. It was always on Gaming Hub, I feel like, <laughs> at our house. Like, everybody would come yeah, over. Yeah, come over would always game. hook us up with like the newest game. Yeah, newest yeah. game, newest gear, like freaking for games. I think it was like, like every ah. Tuesday, he would come home with like on Borders bag. Remember Borders? <laughs> DVDs, yeah, yeah, yeah. you would yeah, grab. DVDs, yeah. video games, every. Bad, and Uncle Butch was living with oh, us. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's like, right. Those are the yeah. best days right there. <laughs> that is like Butch, a whole lot of bad. Like, he would. Uncle <laughs> Butch was the man, man. Yeah, bro. Still is the man. Yeah. Shout out to Uncle Butch. Yeah. yeah. You know, Uncle Some Mo good too. stories. We got to have him on our podcast. Bro. Oh, <laughs> Uncle Butch. Uncle Butch. Bro, so fun. Right? Sure. Just talk story, bro. Yeah, we yeah. get some good memories with Uncle Butch. Like, he, he would come home from work every day. 
just pound beers. Yeah. yeah. And then he would be all feeling good and then he would buy us like pizza, <laughs> McDonald's. Go jacking. Man, he would make like my mom then go jack in a box like in the middle bro, of the night. Like. My, my favorite thing about Uncle Bush, bro, is his legendary like playlist. Cause like his, oh, yeah. you know what I mean? Like all his and music. he has it all he memorized. Can, bro, like, <laughs> cause he can name you like singer, album, and song and how so long Uncle the Butch, song. So Uncle Butch used to have like this, like four stacks that is high in of CDs. In his room, yeah. So one, two, three, four. And for some reason, Uncle Butch would always ask me for do stuff. For him, <laughs> you know, I would grab him the beers, you know. But he would know, like, he would be like, "Oh, go in my room, the the back stack of CDs, six down. <laughs> grab that CD, and I bring him out, and he's like, yup, that's yeah, the one so I look for.' Like, like, exact one. Huh? But he knew. <clears throat> but he was always so like, um, I don't know how to say, but. He don't like mess up his CDs. You know? mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he would, he would every time I, I grabbed like probably like thousand CDs for him, <laughs> yeah. and he would open the case and be like, "Okay, you gotta grab them like this to where like only a little bit of the CD is in your hand," and he put them in like this. Okay? Like every time, every every the thousand times I grab a CD, <laughs> he would explain to me how to put them in. How to put them in. Nah, but you know he but, just knows yeah. that the quality. Just, yeah, you know, those are the keep best days. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Spend, like after school, go home, Uncle Butch, stay home. Yeah, those are the best days. Yeah, I feel like you can't even duplicate Uncle Butch. <laughs> like nobody <laughs> ever can drink ever. that much. Yeah. Nobody ever gonna be that funny, man. Like, like hammer, <laughs> hammer, yeah. bro, or like just that off. Right, yeah. <laughs> that is funny, bro. Yeah, you guys probably get some. I mean, I only get a few, oh, yeah, but yeah. you know what I mean. Especially when um, when they have the quads. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The quads. See, that's another thing, man. It had the sand quads was in it. Bro, quads was in it. That that show came out, Cradle to the Grave, and then boom, Uncle the Mo and Uncle Butch would grab the same Raptors that was in that yeah. movie. So, bro, that was so cool. Bro, I remember we took them down to the right, the sand the, the sand, sand bowl or yeah. sand dunes, sand dunes yeah. or yeah. Maui Lani's right now. Yeah, yeah. bro, and he used to make like music video kind, yeah. like just play the music in the back while he recording. Yeah. She just go off. Uncle Glenn Boy them, Uncle Russell them would come with their yeah. bikes. Yeah. Man. Oh, that was something. I think I only went like one time over there. Yeah. Yeah. He had on their bike too. That's why yeah, yeah, I used yeah. to come, yeah. Oh, those used to be fun, though. Oh, Shoot, I don't even think Mace was born. Oh, yeah. what? <laughs> that time, bro. Okay, I got one more story then. Put your house. Yes, sir. Bro, okay, okay. okay. Pitching mom. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, yeah. Me and Brad, well, how old were we? Like freaking seventh grade? Yeah, man? seventh, sixth I was, grade. I was, I was six, you were seven, I think. Or about not even, maybe yeah, even we're, younger. Yeah, so we were young, yeah. yeah and he on a dirt bike. So I was packing it, yeah. I was packing <laughs> Brian on a dirt bike. Yeah. So we are going back, flying back to the baseball park. Like, yeah, right. I yelled back, hold him, Julius. Yeah, right. Hold it up, back, hold it up. Boom. I, I, I never even realized I had the pitching mound. That's all right, there. <laughs> Brian, hit the pitching mound. Wop, freaking Brian. Brian, hit the ground, bing. <laughs> But I, fl- I I kind of like went fall to the side too, boom! But then my adrenaline was <laughs> my adrenaline was pumping so much that I just went freaking pop right back up, get on the bike, start them up, and just dig out. <laughs> Brian, Brian, Brian on the ground. I was already on the ground. <laughs> like I don't know what it was. I was I just in panic. Right? I was having like a last minute panic attack. That I just didn't jump right back on the bike, start them back up, dig out, and then I came back like, oh man, my bad. <laughs> I had to walk back, too. I was like, fuck, bro. What the fuck? I just thought of that, man. That is a classic bro, wasn't time, too. Kind of and Kipes over there, too. That that probably, probably, man. Ah, yeah, because they used to come by, too. Come Shout by. out to Skill Village, too. Some good <laughs> that's skill, there, yeah, yeah, that was good fun. That house was good. How long you guys was living there when you were living there? For the first 13 years of my life. I you remember that? that a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I remember a little bit. Yeah, he was young. Not you know? a lot, though. Because when I was eighth grade, I think we moved my home. Yeah. yeah. And then, you know, it's just been there ever since. Man, yeah, I remember that house. Though. We had some good times. <laughs> freaking park right in the backyard. Yeah. Just, can't beat that. Man. Nah, bro. Play your gym. Freaking going, just going inside using all the equipment for boxing. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I remember going to the gym a couple of times. I think he was on WWE. Bro, <laughs> <laughs> bro that, that gym is so boss now, man. You gotta freaking do something. Yeah, Fuck, I never see that gym. Yeah, bro. I think after the big storm, like it never did. Oh, yeah. Come back. Oh, like bro. outside? Like. Nah, even like the actual gym, like the roof and stuff. Yeah, so I meant like the, the, yeah, yeah. the outskirts of it. Even, you, can, you know you what else gym inside. is bust too? Is the cooler one. Yeah. For real? The one by Kula. We just went Kula. What were we in Kula Bistro for? We just went just after recently. Kamaliola's game. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the gym. I was like, um, yeah, just look bust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they placed oh, right. over there. Great story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like Kamaliola then Save was, throwing, the pod next was time. throwing stuff onto the roof. And I was like, I don't throw rocks. Don't throw at the roof. The gym would fall down. Like, the thing was bust. Yeah. Man, what is the best one? Probably like Eddie Tam, huh? 
How's Walikuji? I don't know, bro. Honestly, I've never, I never been in there for a Anytime, only because sometimes I pass through there. Yeah. But yeah, other than that, it's pretty much, I never really, I never yeah. really go to a gym Peter would know about it. Long time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but get that. You key. guys just should play in there? Play, yeah. Play your gym. I mean, I'll play your gym. What did you say? The new, the new Kia one. Yeah, the new Kia one. That's the thing, yeah. You know, new gym in Kia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, like uh, the rec center kind yeah, of. Yeah. Somebody. That must be smooth. But yeah, no, we did just oh, play actually, yeah. any time. I take that back. That's the nicest one. Yeah. yeah. That one is solid. AC yeah. and everything. That's just judging gyms, huh? Yeah. yeah, yeah. You guys got to step up. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, <bro. laughs> like if they fix them, like we're going to go. <laughs> <laughs> what is no, that but we gym? Did, we did just play at um, any time. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's when Mason Nakana busts his knee. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we was all, <laughs> we was all like, uh, I was all scared. Yeah, like, I don't like, like break my leg or something or like hurt my knee yeah, like, get you, you know, for not, season huh? you know we're not young anymore like <laughs> you don't have no medical to cover or like nothing's covering that yeah. like so, like, so, so we go we go play and we play like what like four games and the youngest guy that was with us me yeah is the only one covered <laughs> me you know did you stretch bro oh. <laughs> he did but he was he was he was trying hard was yeah trying like us like yeah, bare minimum no we trying was trying hard but it was like not a lot. it was coming off as bare minimum yeah yeah like for me i was trying hard but like if somebody was watching me it was like yeah, yeah try harder like, <laughs> why is that guy rolling <laughs> <laughs> like i was going all out but like to somebody else was like that's it <laughs> like <laughs> you, know, you know what i'm trying to say yeah right? yeah, like, yeah. You, you know you suck yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. But other than that like, you guys get anything you guys wanted to add or anything I think that was cool, bro. Like, we had some good conversations, yeah. and I'm excited to do our next podcast already. But yeah. So it feels good to get the weight of this first podcast off of our shoulders. Finally. Yeah, we're so. kind of itching, yeah, but, like, yeah, right. at the same time. But. Yeah, but, you know, it is what it is. We, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. we're going to get, gonna get together. better, man. Yeah, we're going to keep putting in work, keep putting out content, and, yeah, yeah. we're only going to get better from here on out. But. Tree average guy, stalking story. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Blessed. Yeah. You know, Mahalo Kel for giving us this opportunity tonight, too have this podcast over here so appreciate you guys being out here man yes sir. yep but other than that man Thank you. real talk molly man that's how we do yes sir. shoots Hello.